Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jay, sir. In this video, it's about CSS. Um, I've decided to start a series of uh, videos on CSS references. This is the documentation on the MDM. So I will start from the beginning and uh, take a look, a look through, look through all the rules. There's a lot, a lot of them, so it's gonna be a huge task. Well, um, in my daily work, I will. Most of the time, I write the JavaScript code. For CSS, I actually don't spend too much time on it. And there kind of be a lack of knowledge in CSS. So I hope this series of videos could help you, or of course help myself, to understand that CSS better. So the first one is WebKit line clamp. Actually, in my project, current project, I'm using it. So the... Uh, so the I, the result and the goal it accomplished is very easy to understand uh, by setting the WebKit line clamp three, uh, we uh, could uh, define the maximum lines of a block and and uh, uh, the contents be, uh, beyond it is hidden, and we can set the uh, ellipsis by. Uh, Oh, there is no setting here, so it will be added automatically. So this, uh, this probably actually is originated in Safari, I think. Uh, so it should be web, like WebKit line clamp, uh, the standard standard version. The CSS standard will be line clamp, but it's not. Uh, I think it's still in a draft now. Okay, so yeah, it's. Uh, WebKit line clamp. It must be used together with display WebKit box, which is a. I think it should be set to non-standard uh, uh, value for display. So WebKit block box, and uh, we could set a line clamp here. WebKit uh, overflow hidden. Mm -hmm. Is this necessary? I'm not sure. The over overflow is a hit. Ah, I see. So you see, if we don't set overflow hidden, the content was still uh, scrollable, could be visible, and the actually the the ellipsis will be added to exactly the third line, right? If we turn uh, set the font size a little bigger, like twenty pixel, yeah, it still it's gonna be on the third line. So together with WebKit box and Overflow hidden. We can achieve something like this. Well, this is something. Um, how should I say? Uh, there are some other approaches to these kind of problems. Like if you want to show something uh, with limited height, like this is you on YouTube, we could see that this is a slight fade fade out uh, effects here, right? So it's and together with this more uh, see more button. And you could click it and see the full text. So, personally, uh, I'm not sure for these ellipses, it would be better for some cases that the user cannot expand to see more. If we could see more, there better be some fade out effect here and a button here, right? A button that says see more and asks the user to click it on that. Well, anyway, so the Anyway, it's another topic which what uh, which one should be used depending on the situation, and uh, web web kit line clamp and does exactly uh, this effect. So, if it is not supported, how should we implement it by ourselves? Well, um, it's hard actually. If you added these three dots here, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be. Uh, messing up with the ta a font, a text, right? So there will be extra overflow. So if we are going to do something similar, I would say, okay, let's okay, p tag here, yeah, p tag here. But first, our goal is to limit to the lines to maximum three lines. So we actually need to define the. Okay, let's remove the WebKit box here. Okay, here, here. Here, 
we need to okay let's set font to 20 pixel needs to set the height right the height should be 3 of the line height but line height height actually uh, is not set here so we set line height to like say 1.5 then for one line it must be um, okay this is too big here okay, let's say it's 10 pixel hmm 15 okay 20 is enough okay so one line it must be 30 pixel for three it must be what it must be 90 pixel right so 90 pixel but actually it's beyond the the, the height here Okay, let's say here like 200 pixel cool okay so the, now p tag you see it's actually exactly three nines height is not it's 90 pixel but we could do better like three uh no it should be four uh 4.5 m yeah it's still exactly three nines right so yeah and we could just add the overflow hidden cool so we height we, we now we set the context to the con, a ton content to be exactly three lines maximum. Um, yeah, the problem is that uh, uh, if the content is not enough, we need to do more, do something uh, extra to support that, right? So I should say we could use maximum height. Yeah, this will do. And overflow hidden. So now about the ellipses, we need actually need to use like the pseudo elements here to add the dot at the bottom right. Um, I cannot write the code here. Okay, let's write it anyway. Let's write it. Uh huh. Class like uh, this is paragraph. We add a style here, uh -huh. and it be after content blah, 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 dot. Mm -hmm. It's uh, okay. It cannot be added here. Can we? Uh, I think we cannot. Oh, we can. We can. I'm sorry. Like after is here. So okay, the position here, I would say relative, and the after sets the position to absolute right zero bottom zero. Oh yeah, you see, we have this uh, nice dot and. Uh, transform we need to move it, it into the viewport uh, translate X okay now it's in the P tag right well if there is uh, if there is a word under this ellipsis we need to add some like uh, transparent background RGB GBA something like this right we, we could do better but something like this so this is a workaround for this but personally I like the uh, fading better but this is for multiple one multiple lines um, actually there's another attribute another rules called text text overflow I think yeah text overflow it's it's a standard and it's specified for one line okay it must be used with white space no wrap and uh, overflow hidden this is it this is clip without not without anything and uh, ellipses this is with this uh, ellipsis and there are some other stuff like fade in fa a fade and a custom string rather than ellipsis 
but it is still exper experimental, so it's not working now. Let's rewrite the code here to support make it one line. One line. Okay, the p tag here. Okay, let's remove this all. Okay, the first one uh, is white space, no wrap. Okay, so make it perfect one line. So it's overflow, right? So we set it overflow to a hidden. So this is one line with the width of 300 pixels. And text is truncated. So text overflow ellipsis. Perfect. So this symbol. These two, okay. So this is nothing special here. This is for customized uh, the, the uh, ellipsis. But it's not working on my Chrome. Okay, so that's all for this one video. Uh, we've seen, we've understood these two: WebKit, line clamp, and the text overflow. So see you next time. There will be more videos about CSS, besides JavaScript, besides algorithm. Okay, hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.